Good morning. Pastor Jenny here. It's been a while since I don't ramble. I mean, I ramble in my regular life, but it's been a while since I don't ramble like doing this Pastor Jenny's rambling videos. So I've been, it's been a very busy season from October through December because we've been engaged in going out and telling people the good news of the gospel. We held a friend day. Ashley Victoria turned 16. Ah, JC just turned 11 in January. So, um, and it's just been amazing. Oh, and John and I renewed our vows, our 20 year vows um, on December 22nd. Some of you were there that were local here in the Bradenton and Sarasota area, and we thank you for coming with us. But um, I decided that it's time to ramble again. So let's ramble together. And I, this idea came to me by doing something very mundane, which is cleaning the bathroom. Now, cleaning the bathroom is not something that I really enjoy doing. I enjoy how the bathroom looks, feels, and smells after I'm done, but I don't necessarily enjoy cleaning the bathroom. But the other day, as I was cleaning the bathroom, I did something that is one of the first things I do when I clean the bathroom. And it got me thinking, and I said, there's a great topic for my January rambling. So let me change the direction of the phone and show you the illustration, and then I'll be right back. Hold up. Um, where do I change the direction of this? Oh, uh, hold on. I promise you I'll find out. Oh, well, maybe I should just turn it around manually because I obviously cannot figure it out. Hold on. So, <clears throat> I hope that what you're seeing here is the floor of my bathroom, right? And it's dirty. I mean, I haven't cleaned it all week, but yeah, it looks, yeah, kind of decent, right? Here are these two carpets. They're very cushy and they're very comfortable. And they look nice and they feel really, really good on your feet, right? So the first thing I do when I'm teaching Astrid or JC to clean the bathroom, or when I'm cleaning the bathroom myself, is that you need to get all the dirt out. So here is the floor, and you can see the floor, right? I mean, it's dirty, but nothing. But check this out. And I'm gonna heat it. Look, guys, at all the dirt. Can you see it? Lots of dirt. And let me tell you, you know, you saw it first. You know it didn't look anything like it. So this got me thinking about the dirt in our lives and how easy it is to, well, and by dirt, I mean not just like horrible things, but like our weaknesses, situations, addictive behaviors, things that we're ignoring. And I was thinking that it is so easy to hide them in a cushy, comfortable appearance, when in reality, that appearance is hiding all the dirt. Okay, so if I clean my bathroom, if I had cleaned my bathroom without doing that, it, I could have pulled it off. It would have certainly looked very clean, but it really would have not been good clean because I would have had that carpet hiding all the dirt. So my challenge to you this morning, or maybe I should say God's challenge to all of us this morning is, what are we hiding? What is hiding beneath our fluffy carpet? That carpet may be a good job, a good car, um, popularity, friendships, maybe a nice buddy going to the gym. I go to the gym, so I'm not necessarily criticizing that. But what I'm saying is, let's make sure we're not hiding behind anything, that we're not hiding significant issues, significant problems, significant situations, because if we do, eventually it's going to catch up with us. Like this, I could get away with this maybe for even a few months, but boy, the bathroom will eventually start smelling and eventually 
we would start having allergies and sneezing and coughing because even if we cannot see the dirt, it is hiding in the carpet, in the rod. So we need to shake that carpet, we need to get that dirt out, and we need to deal with it. Whether dealing with it means uh, seeking God, praying more, reading the Bible more, getting accountability partners, a friend that we can say, hold me accountable, I'm struggling with this, um, joining Alcoholics Anonymous, a, a Celebrate Recovery group, uh, attending church. <laughs> and if you are in Brandon, Sarasota, please consider the altar. Um, I don't know, I mean, just get that dirt out. Deal with it. Deal with it head on so that you your life is not just in appearance looking okay, but that it actually is in good shape because you are refusing to ignore situations that if they go unchecked, they can come back and bite your butt. <laughs> I know, I'm so annoying, but I'm glad you listen anyway. So, if you want to talk more about the dirt in your life, I encourage you to get on your knees and talk to God about it. He's fantastic dealing with the dirt in our lives. Trust me, I have a lot of it and I give it up. He cleans it and I normally accumulate more because that is the world we live in and we're sinners and we're fallible human beings. But it's wonderful to have someone to run to and say, hey dad, here's my mess. Could you help me clean it up? Because God's going to require some effort on your part. He's not, he's not a genie or a magician. Um, he's a father. And he fathers us. And part of fathering us means that he's going to let us work to improve our lives. Work. Work at it to get better at things. But he sure is going to give you supernatural help. And he's going to give you a strength that you had no idea was there. That's my rambling for today. If you want to talk more about it, hit me up on Insta Messenger or in the comments. I'll be checking. Signing off. This is Pastor Jenny, and this is my rambling for today. Bye.